Married at First Sight Australia has taught us to watch things that make us feel bad. We watched Intimacy Week from behind our couch cushions more times than we can count, cringing at the challenges or being completely dumbfounded by some of the toxic relationships. But the show, which is currently airing in Australia for the first time on E4, just made things even more uncomfortable by showing scenes from Josh and Melissa's final commitment ceremony. Even the experts had a hard time hearing what had been going on with the couple behind closed doors, which is why John Atkin made a crucial change to the format for the first time in the show's history. Women should be able to be open and proud about their sexual desires, but Melissa was the one who kept spreading the idea that her desire for an active sexual life with her husband was too much. Melissa said that her husband Josh was really conservative, so he fought back against the 40-year-old virgin image that he thought she had made up for him. He said that they had been together just a few days before. He then told the experts that he thought the real problem was with control. Josh said that Melissa had tried to limit how much he watched TV, when he could use his cell phone and when he could read his books. He also said that she had talked to him in degrading and dehumanising language and questioned his manhood. Melissa's ideas about what a manly man should be, f- should be fed into a very specific and out-of-date kind of toxic masculinity. This kind of masculinity comes from the patriarchal world we live in and is harmful for both men and women. The group pushed back, saying that men can and should talk about their emotions and be vulnerable. These are all things that Josh brought to the table during the experiment. Josh's face showed that he was upset by what was said on the couch, and he told the experts that he had felt broken. Duncan tried to comfort Josh by saying, That's an easy, that's an old way of saying what a man is. That's what men were called 60 years ago, he said. Melissa admitted that she thinks she took a huge bite and that she has said some horrible shit to Josh during fights for which she apologised. Josh was sure he wanted to leave when it came to time to make a choice, but Melissa surprised everyone by saying she wanted to stay in the experiment. According to the show's usual rules, if one partner chooses to stay, the couple must stay in the experiment for another week to see if they can change.